everybody hope you're good so today i will be doing a bit of a haul so, so i've been stashing up some goodies and i wanted to show them on my channel i placed an order um was it on black friday yeah around black friday at least a couple of days after because again black friday isn't really black friday anymore it's more like black week black month you know it goes on and on and on so a couple of days after i had some things in my basket and that wasn't decided on black friday so i thought okay let me just think about what i want for a few more days and then i placed my order so some of them i've already tried because i was just too excited and others i haven't so without too much rambling let's get into this okay so confession time confession time in terms of what I have already tried, I've just put them back in the packaging just so you can see, so you know what to expect if you were to order these. So these two products I have in my hand are the Benton Deep Green Tea Toner and uh, Deep Green Tea Lotion. So this is the packaging you will expect if you were to buy this. I really like the packaging actually, as much as it is um, eco-friendly, it's cardboard, I like the design. And of course the product itself is what I am after. So. I got these from Look Fantastic. The majority of the things I'm gonna talk about are actually from Look Fantastic. I like shopping on Look Fantastic because again, they tend to have a lot of discounts, promotions, 20%, 25%. And for a lot of the brands that I like, they tend to even sometimes go up to like 30, 33%. So for the Black Friday week, um, I think they had an additional 10% or 5% on top of the 30% discount they had across the majority of the things that I actually bought which was amazing so yeah um, I always shop on lookfantastic.com and this isn't spon sponsored by them but I do really really like the um, website so if you do want to sponsor me hey girl hit me up so um, first thing I bought was the Benton deep green toner and I heard about this from a channel that I love 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 and it's beauty within so if you're into skincare or like k beauty j beauty or just skincare in general you would have heard of beauty within and it's run by um rowena and um felicia so yeah um those two put out the best videos like the best animations i just absolutely love their channel and it's just very easy to follow in terms of like their recommendations and like explanation about how things work so yeah i've been watching their channel for about two years i want to say so yeah so they mentioned the deep green tea toner and the lotion and i thought i'd try it out so because it was an offer i think i finally got these each around nine pounds or so with all the discounts and stuff so i think um the full price for for like this particular one is, is around 17 16 pounds so with or the discounts it was almost like half price which is amazing so the deep green toner i have been using since i got it and you don't actually need a lot and these two are actually my i want to say they're not they're my first like genuine k beauty products um the other two that i have tried previously was the goku goku join <laughs> goku join premium um hyaluronic acid emulsion it is actually targeted towards dry skin i have been using this on my channel for like at least two years I, I want to say and i usually get mine either from amazon or ebay and it takes a while to get to me so this is like the only kind of kbt product i have tried it has different weights of um, hyaluronic acid and yeah and it's just amazing it's great for like winter especially when you do have dry skin it's slightly thicker slightly sticky so if you want to water it down what i have actually been doing is mixing it with my deep green tea toner so this toner is more of a hydrating toner it calms inflammation of course that's what green tea does and it's also rich in antioxidants which is again another amazing property against you know uh, free radicals and cell degradation so i mix this and this together and it just makes a beautiful emulsion that's not sticky at all i mean this enables this to absorb into my skin and my skin doesn't feel sticky and it feels really hydrated so i absolutely love it the way you use this is that you just pat it onto put it onto your hand and pat it onto your skin and it's like really runny it's basically like water so i absolutely love it i've been using it since i got it i just thought i'd save the packaging just to show you in this haul and second i have the deep green lotion so this is like a moisturizer it is actually essentially a moisturizer um let me actually read the, the toner before i go into the moisturizer so it says benton deep green tea toner is a light and hydrating toner enriched with green tea from bosong bosong which is the most famous tea producing area in korea 
the toner replenishes moisture soothes and freshens while leaving skin healthy and clear and then we have the deep green tea lotion and this is a light to moisturizer enriched with green tea from Bosong, which is the most famous tea producing area in korea again the lotion replenishes i think it says exactly the same thing soothes and freshens while leaving skin healthy and clear so it says exactly the same thing it just says this is a lotion so in terms of the ingredients this is thicker it does contain oils i believe i'm not going to get into like all the ingredients but again it does contain oils and it's a bit more uh, emulsifying like it, it's, it's thicker it's definitely like you have to shake it to get a few drops out and you only need about two or three drops of it as well and the way i use it i mix it with the i actually mix it with the toner as well so it's like yes yeah, it, you don't need a lot and i feel like this is going to last me a long while um yeah and i think i heard them say like um on beauty within um that the i think it contains about 50 percent green tea water which is just you know it's great so yeah um those are the two things i got and i will be doing an update in terms of what it's doing for my skin but i really really love the result and then they did actually chuck this um particular product in for free so this is the aloe bha skin toner and how many mls do you get of this you get 50 mls of this skin toner so this is what it looks like and all you do is just squirt it it's um what do you call it it's a little pump and it again is quite runny but slightly thicker than the toner version yeah slightly thicker and this isn't green tea this is purely aloe vera and it contains salicylic acid and a couple other fruit extracts as well so it's again really really moisturizing because it has um because it has a really low percentage of salicylic acid you can use this every single day and it doesn't irritate my skin at all like even if i have like a freshly squeezed pimple you if i put this on it doesn't irritate at all it just i think it just gently exfoliates your skin over a long period of time so that is like the approach that benton generally has it's very kind of slow and like steady wins the race type of thing so i was really happy when i got this free so after trying it a few times uh, when it came to black friday i actually ended up ordering a bigger bottle so this is the big mama so this is what the bigger bottle looks like and it's just yeah it's massive i'm not gonna need this for a while until i run out of that but i just thought i'd take i'd buy it now and um use it when i need it because again this was about nine pounds or so everything i got was between nine and ten pounds and usually they go for about double or so roughly thereabouts so i got this after getting this for free so again this is the aloe bha skin toner and it's amazing next we have some french pharmacy products so we're going from korea straight over to france so this is my beautiful beautiful water in a can super posh super hydrating super cooling refreshing it's everything and more this is the uriage thermal water and it's a 300 ml this is the biggest can you can get i believe and I got my first one from um, one of the other beauty sites I love to shop on and that is essential.com and this one actually when I found out that they had this discount um, through lookfantastic.com I bought another one as a backup I'm still using my um, my previous bottle but this is again a backup for sometime next year and I just love using this um, once I come out of the shower if my face is dry or if for whatever reason my face is just feeling irritated it's really calming and soothing and i have been promising and talking about a sunscreen a video for a while and i just wanted to just add a few more to my stash and i'm kind of confused about how i'm going to actually format the video because i have sunscreens i've used and some that are new that i haven't so i think i'm just gonna put them all together because what i was trying to do was um order some try them all so i can then give a full review but i don't know if i'll have enough time to try all of them so what i'll do is just talk about the ones i've tried and then talk about the newness so i think that's what i'm going to do so in the one of the next upcoming videos hopefully before the end of the year i will have a sunscreen video um but i did add some more to my collection through this haul so the first one was actually a lip balm sunscreen so this is by bondi sands and i did try their face sunscreen which is um it's a bit more it's a bit more on the emollient side it's 
not as matte as I would like and I actually stopped using it. I finished the bottle, the container. It's a really lovely um, consistency. The formula is really good but it makes your skin feel a bit more glowy than I would like these days. I don't mind using it if I'm like at home not doing anything but if I'm going to wear makeup I would need to block you know block my face and then go with primer and then powder or like foundation so it's a bit too emollient for my skin um yeah but the lip balm i was definitely interested in because it's coconut and i love coconut like flavored or scented anything basically you can put coconut on a slipper and i'll probably love the way it smells so this is the lip balm spf 50 sunscreen and again it's made in australia bondi sands is an australian brand but i believe they are well known throughout the uk and like you know the rest of europe and i'm not sure how much of a following they have in the us but if you've never heard of them so they're just another great uh, brand they do like tanning products as well but they also do sunscreen and um some sun protection products so this i took out yesterday and i smelt it and i tried it for the first time and it was really really hydrating so you can see i've already squeezed it you get like has it 15 grams so 0.52 ounces of product and it's just a really hydrating um lip balm it has a slightly artificial coconut scent to it like a typical thing like coconut cake if yeah, if coconut cake was artificially like think coconut cake basically that's kind of the association of like a coconut flavored sweet like a candy that's what this smells like but i like it i mean it's not irritating or overly sickly at all but it's a nice coconut scent but it's a very artificial scent so yeah it's not like a palmer's natural type of coconut scent let's let's call it that and speaking of palmer's I also got um, two body lotions from Palmer's. So this is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Anti-Aging Therapy Smoothing Lotion. So it says it contains alpha and beta hydroxy acids. It smooths and exfoliates. So that's what this is. And I got this basically because one, um, I wanted to, actually I was looking at this. This is what I went in for because I wanted to reorder. And I'm like two thirds of the way through my initial, the bottle that I initially bought. So I wanted to buy another one while it was on offer. And I think I got it for like three pounds or so, which is great because this has the most delicious coconut scent you'll ever smell. It's so nice. So I thought this was going to be um not similar in terms of scent because it doesn't say it's coconut but i thought it was going to be the original cocoa butter scent which i'm not sure if i remember if i loved it as a child but i did use cocoa butter i feel like everybody used cocoa butter as a child at some point if you didn't want to be ashy anyway um but this doesn't actually smell anything like the original cocoa butter formula so this smells very citrusy and looking on the back it does have um some like lemon fruit extracts and yeah i think it has it yeah, so it has lemon fruit extract and something else i associate yeah i think that's probably what i'm smelling so that's that it that's what it contains so in terms of the beta hydroxy acid it contains salicylic acid and the alpha hydroxy acid is lactic acid and it's actually quite close to the top so the first ingredient is water second in ingredient is cyclotetrasiloxane and that is i'm guessing a silicone of some sort and the third is lactic acid so it's right up there so that's really good i've tried it like twice already and my skin did feel really smooth like the next day so it's definitely um a good one it's a good option so i really like the initial application it did make my skin feel really really soft so it's great and then another product from palmer's that i got was the coconut water foot cream it just sounds really amazing it has the exact same delicious coconut scent and this actually says it contains cocoa butter and macadamia again it has the same claims which is that it's formulated with ethically and sustainably sourced ingredients what else does it say so no parabens no phthalates no mineral oil no gluten no sulfates no dyes um no shirts no shoes and it's just really neat really nice in terms of its scent i haven't tried it on my foot yet so i don't know but again a foot cream will be something that you know you want to invest in for winter or just any kind of lotion um just pay attention to our you know our feet for this for the winter because during summer you know they get all the attention but then in the winter because we're all wearing you know winter clothes shoes socks boots they kind of get ignored but it'll be nice just to have a bit of me time put some of this on 
wear some socks and let it let it do its magic basically so that's what i'm planning to do i really like that it keeps the like the scent of the whole coconut oil formula collection actually is very very consistent so it's really good so i hope it works as well as the body lotion anyway next we have two other products from a totally different brand so these are two hand creams from Neutrogena so this is the um, Norwegian formula hand cream and this is the concentrated version this is unscented and it says it offers instant relief of dry chapped hands in just a drop you get 75 ml of product in both of them and this version is the hand and nail cream and it says it gives you twice as strike twice stronger nails so it says it has four in one action for healthy looking beautiful hands and it's non-greasy so ooh, these two and i am looking to do like a hand cream dedicated video as well just like because it's very winter appropriate and especially now that we're just constantly using hand sanitizer um i thought it'd be Quite nice to do a haul on hand creams and just see what's good at the drugstore thumbs up if you want to see that or if you think that's a good idea please do leave a comment down below or if you want to suggest a hand cream for me to try and add to my haul before i film it please also do leave a comment down in the comment section so yeah, i have these two and then next we have some french pharmacy products in fact i feel like i should have saved this because this is just like the odd one out and then i've just jumped onto palmas but to be honest everything i've talked about is in no particular order i just thought i'd group them together but anywho um i do have quite a few french pharmacy products and they are all sunscreens so hopefully these will be featured in my sunscreen video coming to you at some point Okay, so the first thing I got from Vichy, so Vichy um, and Uriage are the two French pharmacy brands that I bought some of these products I'm going to talk about from. The first product is, um, what is this called? The Capitou Soleil SPF 30 Fresh Protective Milk for face and body. And it says it has broad spectrum protection, so that's UVA plus UVB. Um, it promises to be hydrating and it contains the Vichy mineral mineralizing water. So you and because it is for face and body, so you do get quite a lot of product. So the back of it, on the back it says it contains Meroxyl plus mineral filter. It's for sensitive skin, hyperallergenic. I'm pretty sure I've heard Dr. Dre talk about this on her channel but um, I actually just read the reviews and it said that it was great on the face and the body which sometimes you do get some sunscreens which promise to be for face and body but then they're usually too greasy for the face or they only suit people with dry skin so because I do have oily skin I do like my sunscreens to you know at least be on the natural side if not a matter like finish so yeah i have tried this like once is it once or twice no once i have tried it on my face once and i was very surprised at first i was a bit shook i was a bit scared because it does leave like a bit of a white cast but it disappears if you leave it for like a couple of minutes it goes away fully so yeah if you do if you already have this uh let me know down in the comments let me know how you you know what you think of it if you already if you already try this but i just love the fact that it's such good value I just love the fact that it's such good value for money 300 ml i will probably never run out of this because yeah i don't tend to put sunscreen on my body during the winter because again nothing not no piece of skin is ever going to be exposed in these cold winter months so really it's going to be for my face but if i do need to use it on my body it will be again in summer and by then um i think it will last quite a while because you get 300 ml of products I don't know if this oh yes it is water resistant so this is spf 30 and it is water resistant by the way another thing is or well, just a little fyi it is fragrance but fragrance is the last um last ingredient on the ingredients list so it is very very slightly fragrance and it's not a strong scent at all it's a very pleasant scent it's not going to be offending and when i use it on my face i didn't feel like my face was irritated um at all so yeah and it blended in really nice it has a really nice thin consistency so i'm not going to talk through the consistency i will show this in a dedicated sunscreen video at some point before i die 
the lord help me but yeah i really like the value for money and the fact that the formula is really good it's really promising i'm really excited about this actually so next thing is another product from vichy this is their capital soleil spf 50 plus again uva and uvb which means it's broad spectrum it actually promises to be a mattifying three in one so it says it protects absorbs and controls um controls and um it says it has daily shine control so it's daily shine control care again it contains the mineralizing water every product from the vichy line has their mineral water in it and i think it's the same with uriage as well so again this is because it's this is particularly a fit like this is a face sunscreen so again you get a smaller amount you get 50 ml of products in here and this is what it looks like and i think i tried this when it came through but not on my face more on the back of my hands and i can't remember what i thought of it so it applies white but i expect it to but you do have to like rub it quite a bit for it to absorb and it has a very like non-greasy feel to it it has a slight like lemony scent but it's not a strong one at all it's not a completely matte finish but it's not greasy so it's like a semi-natural slash matte finish i feel like it's getting matter like more matte as i rub it in but yeah as you can see it's completely gone into the back of my hand so i'm really excited to try that actually next we have another product from vichy and this is their ideal capital soleil spf 30 broad spectrum so uva and uvb um a dry touch sunscreen oh yeah so you get 50 ml of product this is what it looks like <laughs> and this is the container just to save me time i'm not going to go through every single uh, products but it seems like it's yeah this is another one i'm really excited to try because it promises to be mattifying i believe this also does this contain fragrance so fragrance is the last ingredient so again i believe um the fragrance would be very very small like it wouldn't be strong on this i have seen some sunscreens where fragrance is like right in the middle okay so the last product from Vichy is their Ideal Soleil um, SPF stick. So this F this is SPF 50 plus UVA and UVB protection. I love this stick. The only reason I actually got a re-up isn't because I'm finished with the um, other one I've tried and that was my first tube. It's because the, the cover is totally like it started with a crack and now it's just it just won't close. It won't shut. So I've had to use um, the lid from my l'oreal stick foundation because i just thought let me just try it one day and it actually fit so um, in terms of like taking photographs of this i didn't want to have like a shabby looking stick so i bought another one just for photography sake and i will use up the other tube i have but it's really really good for like the under eye area it's not greasy at all it's a very natural finish and it's just great for those who get really irritated with sunscreen around their eyes you can use something like this and it's also good for like small areas of your your like your face like your ears so i don't know like small areas of skin it's really good for or like as a top up i use this once i've um applied sunscreen all, all over my face as like an extra backup i use it on the areas where i have dark spots actually so that's another thing i use this for but um this is just a backup for now and it's the vichy ideal soleil uh spf 50 stick So moving on to Uriage. So Uriage has this SPF 50 Barry Sun fragrance free um, high protection sun cream and it says it has light, a light texture, it's invisible and a non-greasy finish. Again you get 50 ml. It's supposed to be water resistant and it's for sensitive skin. I just like the fact that it's a, it's a fragrance free option just for anybody who is particularly sensitive to fragrance so i thought i tried this out i haven't um I'm not, yes i have actually tried this once 
um on half my face i just i was just curious i think on the day that i got this delivery i tried it on half my face and it wasn't too bad it was like a natural finish it doesn't promise to be a matte sunscreen this is what it looks like and i just really really like the formula if only they could make this matte it would be absolutely perfect but um it's water resistant it's spf 50 and it's fragrance free so i feel like it ticks the majority of boxes so again i will be featuring this in another video maybe i'll just do a try on or by then i would have formed my opinion on like the whole um sunscreen collection that i have so that's 50 ml and it's 1.7 fluid ounces so yeah so that is the Uriage fragrance free um barry sun i think the barry sun is like a another skin collection like another collection um that they have of like different products not just sunscreen so moving on to another french pharmacy brand this is Le, uh, la roche posay and this is the Anthelios xl spf 50 plus um sun cream so what am i looking at so it says it's non-perfume dry touch gel cream sensitive and sun intolerant skin very water resistant and it, you get 50 ml it promises no white marks and it says it's very high protection so yeah i got this um off of dr dre's commendation so in one of dr dre's many many sunscreen videos uh, she mentioned that this would be a great option for darker skin types so i thought let me try it and because it's also promising to be a matte finish as well i thought it would be a good option what i like about this is that it has like a a pump and it's also a tube as well so hopefully that works out works out well so this is another product from la roche posay this is the nutritic lip balm and it says it contains biolipids and ceramides for very dry lips so it's just a lip balm and again it wasn't too pricey at all so yeah i think i got this for under five pounds so i thought i'd try a lip balm add it to my lip balm collection for my upcoming lip balm video and a random a random product that i also decided to get actually so lastly another lip balm product i got was from the brand userin uh, this is for extremely dry and cracked lips you get 10 mls of product in here by the way i got this off of one of dr dre's uh, videos again where she mentioned that this would be a really good option for those who suffer from dry lips because again it's fragrance free and it's just a nice balm on your lips and it's not one that you have to dip your finger into as well so i thought that's quite useful and i believe i think yes yeah, so i forgot yeah so i think half my i do have some other products that are still outstanding um yeah because my actually sorry i made two separate orders and i do have another order outstanding which i will film when it finally arrives but yeah i just thought i'd get these done first and then randomly i was on to like the what do you call it the makeup section and i was just looking at the brow products that they had nothing really caught my eye except this barium jewel ended brow wand and it's meant to be a triangular shaped uh, automatic pencil and part of this is meant to contain um like a brow gel type so it says sculpt and fill in brows with our easy to use brow wand the angled pencil and tinted gel make perfectly groomed brows of a breeze but when i because again brow products get me really excited especially if they're affordable so i think i got this for like three pounds something under four pounds which is in my opinion on the high end in terms of drugstore because i tend to get my my brow products from makeup revolution so you get this so you get this uh the gel cream is in, in this side and you get the pencil in this side as well but the thing about this color i'm not sure if it's dark enough i feel like it might be more on the gray side but actually maybe i'm wrong so that color won't be too bad on my brows actually so so i was really excited about that i do like automatic pencils if i have to sharpen a pencil i just get really sick and tired of it really quickly so 
thought that might be a good one i'm not sure about the brow gel it just feels a little bit too gray for me so i'll have to play around with it and see but those are the products i got from look fantastic it's a massive haul it feels like there's a lot of products in here for some reason um what else did i get anything else yeah i think my i would have to do like a second like a part two to this like a mini haul because i do have some other things i got that didn't make this delivery yeah so those are all the things i got if you liked anything you saw in this video please don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up it does help to get my videos out there and yeah so subscribe if you haven't already if you want to see more hauls more beauty product reviews and that sort of thing please do subscribe hit the notification bell so that when you do subscribe you do get updates when i post a video so until next time stay blessed have a great morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are and i will see you in my next one bye